All right, well, you don't get Bob, but you get me today. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with Vitalia, we are an accelerator mass spec company. And I know what you're probably thinking. Um, accelerator mass spec, are you talking about those huge, giant instruments? Uh, can you, next slide, please. Those huge, oh, I do. Okay. I do? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I get 10 seconds back, thanks. Those huge, giant instruments that, uh, that your father always talked about. You know, these huge things that took up enormous space and required all sorts of shielding and required venting of the instrument to introduce new samples. Well, welcome to the new age of accelerator mass spec. Uh, at Vitalia, we utilize the biomechatis instrument. This is the only purpose-built instrument to specifically address those needs of the pharmaceutical industry. It's built to address selectivity, specificity, uh, ruggedness, and also high throughput. Um, it was built based on patents held by, by John Vogel in collaboration with, or well, at Liv Lawrence Livermore Laboratory. And this was built in collaboration between Vitalia and the Swiss Federal Institute. Here is our instrument in our California facility. And not only is it much smaller than the instruments of uh, yesterday, you can see that it's practically a benchtop model. <laughs> only measures two and a half meters by three meters. And it certainly is user friendly, as you can tell by all the smiling faces in the lab. There's also a sister instrument to that that does reside in Switzerland. We have demonstrated equivalency between these two instruments. And like all AMSs, we are able to get down to low sensitivity. We're able to utilize the specificity of 14C along with the power of mass spectrometry to get down to those atomal detection levels. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, what did I just do here? Here we go. It does, however, require the use of dosing with a 14C drug. Um, and so why would people want to do this? Well, we do this to address questions with absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination. So we're covering everything within ADME. When accelerator mass spec first came onto the scene, it was mostly used to support uh, those early phase uh, zero studies under the exploratory IND. It has more recently moved in supporting two other areas. Um, one is the misguidance, looking at mass, looking at mass balance and metabolism studies. We're actually able to do quantitation of parent compound in all metabolites that is seen in a profile without the use of standards. It's also being uh, commonly used to address absolute bioavailability, being able to conduct studies for two purposes. One is to optimize drug formulations, and the second is to generate absolute BA data for those regulatory agencies which have that as a requirement for registration. It is amenable to uh, biologics as well as new chemical entities, and it is particularly useful for highly potent drugs and those drugs with high volumes of distribution. Uh, looking a little more closely at a, an example of a dose study design for an absolute BA study, the typical study design involves the dose of a cold compound orally concurrently dosed with a small amount of IV uh, drug that has a tracer in it. Um, again, these are concurrently dosed. Once you've dose normalized for uh, the, the IV dose relative to, to the oral, you calculate your F value and you're, ab you're generating your absolute BA data. Uh, the advantage of this, again, this approach, it's not a crossover design. It's dosed concurrently. So your study start to finish is shorter time frame. It also allows for c conducting these studies without generating any animal dose symmetry data. You also do not need to support uh, this using IV tox work or conduct IV tolerance tests. So you have the advantage of shorter study duration as well as uh, cost savings with not having to run the, those tox studies 
and of course the ethical issue with not needing to, to uh, engage as many animals into the drug development process. So in summary, Vitalia does utilize a purpose-built patented, uh, purpose-built instrument used, uh, using the latest methodologies for AMS, um, uses continuously feeding of those samples into the AMS, and therefore, um, and therefore has higher throughput than other instruments on the facility.